Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Rampage and this is going to be my installation of CyanogenMod Mod 12, which has Android 5.0 Lollipop for the uh, sorry, Samsung Galaxy S4 LTE A. Now this thread is created by Arta97 and we have to scroll all the way down to see the download links. So the download, you click that and it will take you to his website and from here you click on or right click lollipop roms you also need his kernel so from the lollipop roms you go to the bottom one which is the latest version and you go ahead and download that I'm not going to download it because I've already downloaded it uh, and from here you can get any of these kernels but it doesn't this uh, specific lollipop install doesn't support 5.2 yet uh, there's I think 12.1 does, but I haven't actually tried that one out yet. So you want to get either the 5.0 or 5.0.1 version of the kernel. I have 5.0. Sorry, 5.0.1 uh, currently, and that's what I'll be using. Now we also need the patch for the i9506, and we have to flash it. So just click on that link, get the 2.0, which is the bottom link there, and once you've downloaded all of those. You want to plug in your phone. I'll just quickly show you that I'm running stock at the moment. So there we go, stock Android 4.2.4.4.2. Point, uh, there we go, and my baseband version. For some reason, it's actually different. I never actually thought I updated it, but okay then. Um, yep, yeah, running stock Android. All right, so we'll plug that in. Uh, <clears throat> now you also want to have uh, or install clockwork mod so I'll show you guys how to do that as well and you're going to need an SD card if you don't have an SD card then this won't work for you but what you want to do is in or copy over the firmware so that's the Cyanogen mod 12 you want the the kernel you also want gaps now I'll also le leave you a link to gaps as well um, but yeah anyway click the top link and it will take you to the cyanogenmod.org page and you want to download the correct cyanogenmod version of gaps so that's cm12 you want to go ahead and download that drag it over to your SD card and we're all good so from here I'm going to go ahead and flash uh, actually sorry reset you want to actually get into download mode first so okay so you want to hold volume down and the home button and there we go oh move the camera a bit oh sorry about that okay so now click volume up and you're in download mode there you go so plug in the phone Click on AP and find the recovery.tar.m. Uh, sorry, recovery.tar.md5. Open that. Wait for it to finish. There we go. And click start. There we go. And it will reset the device. Boop. All right, so restart. Okay, hold volume up and home. There we go, booting to recovery. You can unplug your phone now. And from here, you want to go wipe data or factory reset. Let that work its magic. There we go. Uh, you want to go down to advanced wipe Dalvec code. Yes. 
and click on back. Now we can install zip, choose zip from storage SD card one, find the folder, or if you have it in the root of the or the directory, then it's there. But mine's in new folder. Look for CM12, the unofficial tech sec whatever. That one there. Click on that. Install. Now wait for that to finish. It does take a little while, so I may have to pause it. Okay, so once it's completed, it will say install from SD card complete. Then you want to go down to choose zip from storage SD card one again and install the kernel, which is Arta 97 kernel i9506 5.0.1 or version 5.0, doesn't really matter as long as it's 5.0. Install the kernel. There we go. Okay, so once that's done, go back to storage SD card one and install the gaps program. Oops, there we go. Install. This takes a little bit of a moment to complete. Doesn't take too long there. There we go, complete. Go back to SD card one. Now the last thing we need to install is the patch 2.0. There we go, click that, go yes, install. And there we go. Now from here, we have to reboot device and make sure you click no. And now it's rebooting. Now this step here takes anywhere from five to 15 minutes to actually work uh, but just leave it don't don't touch it at all it'll do its magic eventually but yeah uh, I'll show you what it looks like once it has booted so yeah there's the cyanogen mod logo and give it like as I said 5 to 15 minutes and it should actually go to the install and for now I'll just pause the video okay so after a while you'll be greeted with this welcome screen Find your correct English or language. Skip Wi-Fi. I'm just going to, you don't have to do that, but I'm just skipping all this stuff so I don't actually have to deal with it. Because I'll do it all later. Skip. Skip anyway. Put my name in. Whoops. complete. Now I'm just going to quickly turn off LTE. Oops, I forgot that I can't do it from there. To go to settings, turn off, oops, turn off and turn off Wi-Fi. And there we go. So I'm in Cyanogen mod with Android 5.0.1. Now to quickly prove that to you, uh, there we go. My model name, which is GTI9506, with Android 5.0.2, excuse me. And there's my baseband version. And yeah, there's the version of Signage Mod I'm running, and the Temasek unofficial version, which is build version 9.4, and the build number. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.